Hey everyone, welcome to Device Doctor. Today, we're learning how to print ID cards with the Epson L8050. But be careful, if you miss these simple tips, your printer might just sulk and not print. Ready to master it? Let's go. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. First, you need to download the ID card software made for this printer from Google. It's the first step to getting your cards printed perfectly. After searching for Epson L8050 driver on Google, open the first website. Then, select your operating system to download the correct driver. It's very simple. For example, my computer runs on Windows 10, 64-bit. You'll see the printer's driver and mobile app on the site. Now, let's download the third option, which is the creativity software for the ID card program. It's very easy. In the second step, we need to install the downloaded file on our computer. The installation process is very simple and doesn't require much explanation. Just click Next and complete the steps. After installing the Epson Photo Plus software, an icon will appear on your desktop. Just double-click it to run the program and open it. One key point to remember is that if your computer's operating system is Windows 10 or 11, you don't need to install the framework program. However, for other versions of Windows, you need to download and install the framework for the program to run. The link to the framework is available in the description. In the third step, once the program opens, you'll see it has many features besides ID card printing, like printing on CDs and more. For now, let's click on the ID card option. Now, we'll select the ID card settings based on its design. Our ID card is designed in landscape format, so we choose the landscape option. The double-sided option means that two ID cards will be printed at the same time. Now, we'll import both of our designs. You can add the images by clicking on the Add Image icon, which looks like a person at the top. After clicking OK, you'll import your ID card designs. Note that in this software, you can't design ID cards like in Photoshop. You can only place the ID card image and print it. It also has options for color and transparency settings. See how easily we can import our ID cards and adjust them using the tools in this software. Once your ID cards are set within the standard frame, configure the settings by selecting your printer and adjusting any other options available. However, you don't need to change the default settings. Just click the Start Printing button at the bottom. In the final step, which is the most important part of this process, after clicking Start Printing, wait until the printer's paper light turns red. Now, remove the card tray from where it rests and wipe it with a clean, soft cloth to remove any dust. Also, clean the ID cards. This will help extend the lifespan of your printer. Now, insert the card tray into the upper part of the printer up to the marked section, making sure the arrow points toward the white line. After placing the tray, press the cancel button once and the printing process will start correctly. Make sure to insert the tray first and then press the cancel button. If you press cancel before inserting the tray, the printing won't work. You can see that the ID cards are printed professionally and with high quality. 
I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Until next time, goodbye.